yo what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl nah so today we're gonna be doing a twist out this is definitely a much needed video as things have changed you know the hair length is different the thickness is different there's just a lot more going on over here and my technique has definitely changed so as you can see I'm starting off with stretched hair my hair is blow-dried you can definitely do a twist out from non stretched hair or even from wet hair but the blowout technique that works the best for me is when I do it on stretched hair I've been trying to stay away from heat and my hair has definitely been thinking me like bruh it's thickums over here okay it's the thickness for me <laughs> i mainly do twist outs during the winter months where i blow dry my hair more often i just cannot be air drying in the winter time no thanks it's just not for me so now that it's getting cold and i'm back in my blow dry season i thought i'd come over here and show you my updated twist out technique so without further ado let's just get started so today i'm going to be doing the lco method um plus a little bit of gel for this twist out so the things you're going to need are h2o a leave-in of your choice um this is the carol's daughter cocoa cream coil enhancing moisture butter i know it says it's a butter but i use it as a leave-in you just have to know your hair type just because this says cream on it doesn't mean you can't use it as a leave-in try it out on your hair and see how your hair reacts you know what i'm saying the cream that i use is shea butter it's actually the shea and chebby concoction that i make myself it's like i said my homemade um whipped butter this has shea butter mango butter cocoa butter like pfft. this stuff is the real deal okay um and it leaves my hair super moisturized for days so this is what i use for a cream if you want to see how i make this i made an entire video on it so you can go up there in the cards and click that then the oils i'm going to be using is just a blend of carrier oils sweet almond avocado oil and jojoba oil and for gel i'm going to be using eco styler obviously you can switch out eco styler gel for a gel of your choice because i know a lot of people don't like this but my hair is fine with it so so i'm going to be doing six twists so three on each side the parts don't have to be super defined or anything obviously because you're going to be taking these out and you're going to want to hide those parts anyway the only part i would say to really make sure you get defined is whatever part you're going to be using to start off i'm just going to put this side away okay guys so i've sectioned off my first section in the back and i'm just gonna lightly comb through it one secret of a twist out is your hair has got to be detangled so i'm going in with a little bit of water very little you want your hair to take the shape of the twist but if your hair is reverting it's going to be taking the shape of the twist while also trying to push your curl pattern through i'm going to lightly mist with water and i'm going to be avoiding the roots then i'm going in with my leave-in the only thing I avoid the roots with is the water. Everything else, I pretty much put on the entire hair. Make sure you get those ends. Now I'm going in with some oil. And you wanna do this fairly fast. You don't want the hair to be dry by the time you're twisting it. I'm going in with my cream. Then I go in for a quick detangle add a little bit of gel mainly to the ends and I begin to twist if your ends start to bunch definitely go in and detangle again because you want them thoroughly detangled And if my ends are a little dry, I just go in with a little bit more water, cream, and everything really. And then we move on. Super duper simple guys, it's only six twists, so it shouldn't take you too long. I'd say if I wasn't filming, it would probably take me 20 minutes tops.
Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm done with the twists. They're not like super neat or anything. And I wanna stress that that's not necessary because you're gonna be taking these twists out anyway. So what I'm gonna do is just put on my head scarf. So I would leave the ends out, you know, just so that there's airflow and your hair could dry because the number one rule for a twist out is make sure your hair is dry before taking it out that's probably where the most people go wrong it's like okay i want my twist out to be popping tomorrow it's 2 a.m i wake up at 7 let me twist my hair tonight if your hair is not going to dry within those five hours do not even attempt to twist out because you will be tight that you wasted your time it will be trash it will be frizzy and just not good looking all right guys so i will be back when it's time to take these babies out hey guys so i'm back it's been about two days so i already did my edges really quickly and i put on one of those wrap strips um i don't know where i was before these wrap strips i would always use like my head tie my head scarf that i sleep with but these are a game changer so let's just get into taking these out i'm gonna start at the back and as always i'm gonna be coating my fingers with an oil so that we don't get any frizz so i'm gonna be using avocado oil today i just grabbed the first oil i saw in my drawer I'm just gonna clip those top clips away, being very careful around um, the ends because when your ends look frizzy, your whole style is chopped. And since we did flat twists as opposed to regular twists, you're already gonna have these pre-sectioned sections that are just going to create themselves as you're taking out the twist. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna take off this wrap strip. Woo! And we're just gonna separate the rest of these curls. All right guys, so now that this side's done, let's just do the other side. Okay guys, so we're nice and separated. You can choose not to separate your hair because separating ultimately does lead to frizz, but it also leads to volume and bounce and va va voom. So right now I'm gonna go in and kind of just pick out the roots. I don't know where my afro pick is. Obviously an afro pick would be the best tool to do this, um, but nonetheless I'm gonna go in and just create some volume. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys like the video. I hope you appreciate the turnout and like it as much as I'm loving it. But yeah guys, this was my updated twist out routine. I've simplified a lot of things as my hair gets longer and just harder to deal with. If I can get the same result with less steps or the same result in less time, best believe I'm gonna do that. Y'all saw my pop smoke twist and this is the final outcome. But yeah guys, as always, everything I used will be in that description box. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, you can hit that comment section and I'll be sure to get back to you. If you like the video, don't forget to leave me a like and don't forget to go down below and hit that red button. Join the squad, join the family. I want to say a big, big, huge thank you for 40,000 subscribers. Thank you to every single one of you guys. So I want to thank everyone who's been here from the beginning. And I also want to thank all of these new subscribers as well for taking the time to hit that red button and to join the family. Okay, guys, so enough rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces.